Hey everybody, welcome to Chatting with Chops. My name is Karen and I try and make fun and entertaining videos that might teach you something along the way. Today we are going to do a recipe called Honey Buns for Two. I decided I wanted to try and see if I could make honey buns, not cinnamon rolls, but honey buns. So I found the recipe online that's just for two, because um, I don't need 52 servings of honey buns, especially if they don't turn out good. So I'm going to try that today, and I'd like to bring y'all along, so let's get started. So we're going to start making this recipe honey buns for two. The first thing that you want to do is stir together your yeast and warm water. And warm water is anything between 100 degrees and 110 degrees will activate your yeast. You, since this recipe is only for two, it, the quantities are really small, which I really like already. Anyway, so you've mixed your yeast and your water, your warm water together for about five minutes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a dough hook on our standing mixer. And we are going to put flour. Let's see, one cup of flour in our standing mixer. Looks like my bowl is not hooked in. There we go. So one cup of flour, and then we put a fourth of a cup of warmed whole milk in with the flour. And then one tablespoon of unsalted butter, softened, which vegan butter is always softened. Let's see, and then you wanna put in your one large egg yolk, which mine is still clinging to its white a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to put that in. All right, so two teaspoons of sugar go in. All right, like I said, these smaller quantities might really be nice for somebody who doesn't want to make a really big batch. Now we need to put in a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And then we're putting in one teaspoon of cinnamon. So we got that in. And then the last thing we're gonna do is put in our yeast mixture which I don't want to miss out on any of the yeast, so I'm going to use a spatula to make sure I get every little bit of this. Let's see if I can. There we go. Y'all can see that a little bit better. every bit of the yeast mixture out of the bowl. Okay. Now we're going to take our dough hook and we're going to run this on low speed until we get a little bit of a dough form. So the next thing we want to do, we have kneaded the dough beautifully. Now we're going to sprinkle it a little bit with some flour, and then we're going to cover the whole bowl in saran wrap and leave it for about an hour so that the dough can rise. All right. So I'm going to put, again, I'm going to put saran wrap over the bowl and then just leave it here for an hour and I will see you guys back in an hour. And we're gonna take our little bit of dough. I'm not used to dealing with this small of dough. That's kind of neat. And then it 
we just want to put it out onto a floured surface. Make sure you got flour on your hands. And just kind of move it around a little bit. And what you want to do is get it into a rectangle. Because you're going to actually cut four cinnamon rolls out of this. Sorry, not cinnamon rolls, honey buns. We're not making cinnamon rolls. So, the recipe calls for about a four by 10 rectangle. And I'm gonna say that looks like that's about four by 10. Okay, I'm just trying to get a little bit of the excess flour off, because I don't know about you, but nobody really likes to eat a lot of flour. Okay, and now is when I'm gonna sprinkle some ground cinnamon on it. And then just kinda spread it around a little bit. And at this point is when you want it along the shortest side. So we're just gonna, I don't know if you can see, I'm just tucking the edges in and then I'm just going to roll it up. And again, I'm just trying to get a little bit of the excess flour off. You don't want it to stick to your countertop. But again, nobody likes eating raw flour. So get most of that off as you're rolling it up. Okay. And so now I have a nice little log. And at this point is when you want to actually cut your cinnamon rolls. Oh, I keep saying cinnamon rolls. You want to cut out your honey buns. And we're going to put our cutouts on a baking sheet. And I have discovered on a prior video that I watched that the best way to cut out your cinnamon rolls or honey buns is with dental floss. It works fantastic. So you just basically get it underneath your your log pick the side about the size that you want it to be and then you just cross it across and what that does is if you're cutting it with a knife it will squish it down but with this it doesn't squish it down it leaves it in a nice nice little band we just want to make sure that those edges stay tucked in tuck that up underneath and then you just lay it on a cookie sheet. And it's just basically so that it can rest. All right, on to the next one. And really all I'm doing is just kind of tucking the corner over here underneath to just keep the, the end from coming loose. And remember, this was supposed to be a really small recipe, so that's why it's not going to make very many. Now, it looks like I'm going to get an extra one out of it, but it's probably because I'm just not making them as big as they should be. And then I'm just, like I said, I'm just taking the little edge of it and tucking it underneath so it'll hold. So there's your finished ones. And I'm just going to cut it, cover it back up with the same saran wrap I used when the dough was rising and just cover those up and let them sit for about 10 minutes. So while we're waiting for our fryer to heat up, because honey buns, you actually fry them, which I think is really interesting. Most of the time with cinnamon rolls, you bake them. So we're gonna put together our glaze that we're gonna use on our honey buns. It's a half a cup of confectionery sugar. One tablespoon of honey. Okay. And then we'll need one tablespoon of water. I can scrape out a little bit of this extra honey. I don't want to lose any of that. Ha! Since they are honey buns. Hee <laughs> hee. 
All right, so one tablespoon of water. And then the recipe asks for an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla. And I think I actually have an eighth of a teaspoon. Teaspoon, that is a tiny little bit of vanilla. There we go. Okay. And the recipe says we're supposed to mix this up until we have no clumps. And I don't know about you, but whenever I'm working with confectionery sugar, there always seems to be clumps. So I'm just going to stir this. This is really thick, too. I thought it would be interesting putting this on the honey buns. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see that, but no lumps. says you're supposed to dip the honey buns in the glaze but I find that I like so much better to just pour it on top and just let it drip off and of course it says that you're supposed to eat them immediately which how can you resist when they're This yummy looking. Ooh, I might have gotten a little heavy handed on the first few and didn't leave enough for my last guy, but but they're just out of the fryer and we are putting the glaze on them. And if we had smell o vision, you would smell the vanilla that is coming off of these. It smells wonderful. All right, so there you have it. Some beautiful, nice, hot honey buns or sticky buns, whichever you want to call them. I think they turned out beautifully. I will let you know how they taste once they've cooled down a little bit. But those are gorgeous. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Help me grow my channel. And I will catch you on the next bake. Thanks for watching.